Hi there, this is Bethany, retired funeral director turned dog groomer. Ten months ago, my man friend, our daughter and myself, left our comfortable and established lifestyle in Ontario, Canada, for a life we always chatted about during morning coffee. Fast tracking our retirement plans, chasing our dreams, and risking our future in the race against old age, we purchased seven unseen acres in the wilderness of Cape Breton Island, Nova Scotia. We downsized everything we owned, loaded up a trailer, our dog, two cats, ATV, and hauled them to our new land. What we knew for sure was our life was about to make a drastic change. What we didn't know was that we were relocating to the most gorgeous place we've ever seen. We took a chance and it was worth it. Join us as we navigate through our new RV lifestyle New climate, new landscape, new wildlife. Building a world we dreamed of in a place only seen in postcards from the ground up. Thanks for visiting and subscribe to my channel if you would enjoy the content of a 40-something gal running away into the woods with her family. gotten I don't know how many feet of snow like two feet of snow in the last 48 hours it's been absolutely crazy we've loved it though we haven't had to go anywhere we've lots of food we've been cooking and we've been plowing shoveling plowing shoveling cleaning off vehicles shoveling plowing basically snowed straight for 48 hours like non-stop big fat snowflakes beautiful it was it's been beautiful and really quiet but the winds are picking up but we're at this moment just very caught up we have nothing more to plow for the moment and the snow has just slowed down like just a light light snow for now so, and I'm getting kind of hungry. Man friend had leftover chicken wings from last night for lunch. Our daughter's been snacking all morning and oh, I need to take a break. So I think I'm going to go over to my sanctuary with my cooker 
and make a little bit of lunch. <laughs> I'm in my dog shop, but I keep all my camping stuff down in here. And this orange bin up here is actually my cooker bin. Yes, my cooker. Let's see what I got in here. I forgot my sister gave me an um, Neapolitan ice cream sandwich, which is freeze dried, ready to eat space food. <laughs> I think I'll take this down, have some dessert. And I have all sorts of camping meals that I have been gifted. Okay, I've got Thai, coconut Thai soup. That looks yummy, but I need a pot for that. Hmm. And then I'm gonna take a tea. So I've got this really fun bag. It flattens like a pancake, so it slides in my camping box really easily, and it just kind of flops open. See? I love this bag. All right, so I'm just gonna eat out of the pot. I don't need like a bowl or anything. Got my soup, got my tea, got my spices. I've got like a spatula to stir, a couple spoons, and a mug for my tea time. And I'll put this all in this bag. And that's it. Got my cooker. Picnic time. My sanctuary.
very curious what this ice cream sandwich will taste like. Let's have a look. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's actually wrapped like an ice cream sandwich. Ooh. Mmm, it smells like ice cream. Oh, it tastes like an ice cream sandwich. Yummy. Wow, that is so good. <laughs> Mm, 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 mm. That is so, so good. <laughs> Strawberry ice cream is my favorite. My hands are really dirty. <laughs> I'm just realizing. Well, that was a treat. I'm gonna enjoy my chai. They're telling us we could get another 30 centimeters by tomorrow afternoon, so we'll see. We'll just keep an eye on it, keep plowing, keep shoveling. We have nowhere to be. Nothing to do right at the moment, except enjoy tea, a little soup, and some space food. <laughs> Now, you might be wondering, like, what's the point of all that? Bringing stuff down and eating out here by the river. And there is no point. <laughs> the point is, you're out in nature, enjoying some hot food, and I can hear the water running. That's it. That's kind of all I was thinking about all morning, actually, was, oh, I can't wait till everything's caught up so I can head over to the sanctuary and have lunch. That's it because I can. <laughs> of all the teas, chai is my favorite. Specifically spicy chai. Chai, the translation to chai is tea. So when people say chai tea, they're actually saying tea tea. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright
We got a lot of snow, <laughs> like more snow than I've ever seen in my life. Four days straight of snow and luckily it was over the weekend. I had no dogs booked so nothing really, it didn't really affect us at all except that we just literally every four hours or even a, every couple hours I was shoveling doorways. I was, we were plowing, shoveling, plowing, shoveling. We had a lot of good food over the weekend. Our hydro stayed on. We had no real problems except the quad stuck in with the plow and he couldn't back it out. And you know, that was an hour of a kerfuffle. At one point I'm like, why can't anything just be easy? You know, it's just like, there's always a hiccup, but that was it. That's the only hiccup that we had the whole weekend. So we just, you know, we buckled down, we kept the road cleared, we, you know, our good friend came through with his quad and he has like this thing that he drags behind and it kind of pushes snow out of the way and so he came down our road many times back and forth just to keep it somewhat cleared because the plow is not like the county they're tapped out they're maxed out they 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 weren't even doing back roads because they were getting stuck and everything so we didn't get a plow down here but considering what we have and what we have to work with we did 